guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sherelle I do cruelty free beauty and vegan lifestyle videos here on YouTube and I've been away for such a long time I'm trying to make my you know gracious appearance back to the YouTube screen um, as we, we know everything's been crazy all over the world and I think we're all just trying to get used to our what is to be our new normal um, so yeah so I wanted to jump on here because um, a couple of people have been busting me down and they're like, every time you're on um, Instagram, you look so put together. I know we're during a work day um, and your makeup just always looks so nice. So thank you. And then um, they requested that I do a quick little look for you. So that's what I'll do. It's really just going to be like my daily um, maker routine working from home. Um, my my position at my job was remote before uh, COVID anyway, so this was kind of like what I would do, um, especially days that I know I have to be on Zoom calls or client meetings or anything like that. Just something super quick. I don't wear makeup every single day, which is such a crazy, huge change for me because I used to be somebody that used to wear makeup every single day. So I don't think it's a lot of um, products. Um, but that's just me. I'm a makeup wearer. So even if it is a lot of products, I'm so sorry. But this is what I do. So I actually do my brows first. I've always been like this. Um, today I actually used a powder. Um, I was showing my sister how to do your brows with powder, my twin. And um, I just showed her with the powder because that's what I was showing her to do. If you want a, a, more, a softer, more gentle looking brow, powder is the way to go. Even though you can overload on powder as well, um, I just see a spot right here that I can just touch up real quick. Powder is pretty forgiving too, so that's what I do. So I just went in and filled in my brows and I cleaned up the bottom, if you can see that. This is just the Muse Eye Powder. I got this off of Shop Miss A. It's a dollar and I've had this for forever, it seems like. The, the lid actually broke, um, but I still keep it. So next I go in normally with a primer. I like to use Elf's Putty Primer. Um, I picked this up a while ago too and I finally just hit pan. Um, on it, I prefer my skin, my makeup to look matte. Um, so that's what I use this. So this is the Poiless Putty Primer from Elf. You can moisturize as well. I went in with a little bit of jojoba oil. I'm sorry, I just have to move this. Even though I have my big mirror in front of me, I can't really see it because the camera's covering it. So I just go in with putty primer all over the face. Um, I know e.l.f. has three different putty primers. There, I think there's an illuminating one and a matte one, I think. Um, I really like it. It was six or eight dollars. I picked mine up at Ulta. I got it after the huge craze um, for this, and I haven't really looked back since. I really, I really like it. So for me, I also use like for a day to day. I like to use Elf Cosmetics, um, their foundation. Now I have two colors here. Um, because I couldn't find one that matched me perfectly. So I found that if I match the two, mix the two, it works perfectly. So I ha I just purchased this one. This one is the color called Cinnamon. It's deep with golden undertones. And then I also have the color Cocoa. Um, so let me show you how much I use. The smallest amount. Yep. Can you see that? Um, about that much for that, for that color. And then, whoo, that's even a bit much. So literally way less than a pea size for both. And I just mix it in with the back of my brush. This is the Kat Von D brush. Oh, I'm sorry, KVD Beauty brush um, in number 10. So I just put whatever I had on the back and work this and you see how it's pretty like you can't even really tell I have foundation on for me when I do my makeup I love to have a foundation that doesn't look like I have a foundation on I don't like to have a look where it's um very mask like the only thing I don't care for with this foundation is that it has a scent 
it goes away after a while but getting to that point it's like oh so I don't care for the scent but I love the the coverage I love the finish of it I think it's very very pretty so you want to make sure to to bring it down your neck just a little bit to make sure it's even uh, for me that's why I did that like custom color because if I just used one color or the other I'd have to bring it all the way down if um, if you try to mix it pretty well my skin is pretty even so with mixing that little bit I don't have to bring it all the way down I just bring it down my neck a little bit and okay so next I'm gonna go in with my elf um, flawless concealer and this one is an exact match to my skin so this one is called deep chestnut now if you have any problems with like coverage um with your foundation and you don't want to go in with another layer i always recommend doing some concealer so i have you know some spots that i can cover if i wanted to um i have a pimple so we'll just do a little, oh, a little coverage there we're gonna do four swipes under the eye and then I go in with my elf hydrating uh, camel concealer satin finish in medium beige this one's a little too light to use on its own so and I love the applicator it's just the wrong color for me as you can tell so I just mix one that's exactly my skin tone with one that's um, a little darker I'll go in with my foundation brush to do the spots that I just want a little bit more coverage on and then we're going to go in with my, um, this is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I love this brush. I have a few of them. I just ordered a new one. Um, yeah, so it doesn't matter. We can use either or. And we're just going to conceal this out. So I go right up under my eye very lightly very light pressure um i find that mixing the two helps helps this one set a little better this one to me was too too dewy too shiny and um i just didn't want that so i found that mixing the two made them set really well i'm gonna set under my eyes anyway i actually have really dry skin um but i find that setting this makeup under uh, my eye helps with less transfer because I do wear the blue light blocking um, glasses I don't wear prescription glasses I just recently got um, the blue light ones because I found that obviously being on the computer for so long was bothering me I don't even want to say obviously it took me a while to figure it out I'm like am I not drinking enough water do I need to go on more walks and it's like whoa you're sitting in front of the computer way more often and way longer than you normally would um so yeah I wear uh those glasses so I'm going in with a uh, beauty sponge this one I believe is from shop miss a I really like their sponges I just go in with the smaller side and you're gonna pat any excess off and this helps it to really melt into the skin now there are um, a few different things that I do at this point I promise this normally takes like 10 minutes maybe 15 minutes at max but because I'm talking it's gonna take a little longer so next I go in with my perfect finish HD powder from elf if you um, I am actually a huge fan of this one this is the um, mystifying mattifying high definition micro finish press powder from lunatic cosmetics labs I actually hit pan I'm so scared I don't want to use it all up because it's so good but I found a really good alternative um, in elf cosmetics so this is what I use I'm just gonna go back in with that same brush that I used to set under my eye and I'm gonna make sure nothing's creased and just pat in some days I'll use a banana powder it just it just all depends on how bright I want to be but I pat in till it, it it's it's gone 
And I love this too because it has such a nice blurring effect. And then the same thing for this one sitting too far back. Um, ooh. Now, if you know you're not going to be doing any eye makeup, like any color on the, the, the lid, uh, you could just go in and set. And normally during the week, that's what I do. So I know I'm not going to be doing anything with color on top of my lid. So I just set that concealer, that foundation that we put over top so everything looks even. It's not dark and dull looking. <laughs> Um, from our sleep that we had last night so and even sometimes I'll even go in and set my brows because um I do pen I normally do pencil I normally do the shop miss a pencils but um, and I also like to do that because it lightens up the brow a bit they're not as harsh Especially because you're not doing a full face of makeup. Sets it all in place. Next we're going to go into our concealing. Uh, I'm sorry, contouring. I personally use this one, the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. This one is in the color R5. I don't even know if you could find this anymore. I had this in my stash for a while and I finally found... Um, like a use for it I finally ran out of my other stuff that I was using and I was like hey I kind of like that color so let me use it um but if not if you just want to stick to the one brand you can do elf and before I was using just the darkest colors in the palette um to contour with but I'm just gonna use what I really really love I love this too because it has a bit of red undertone in it I'm using this elf small stipple brush I'm just gonna tap it and very lightly because this is super pigmented um and we're just gonna do a contour around the hairline under the jaw doing this it's gonna bring a whole bunch of color back to your face um yeah and we're just gonna swirl this in Now, I use a couple different things. I hit paint on my Amuse as well. This is the matte bronzer, um, but I'm going to go in with e.l.f. Um, and then my Anastasia powder. This one's vegan. This is the color mahogany. This is the powder bronzer. I'm going in with a little bit of the e.l.f. This color is constantly bronze. This one's actually a little light for me, but since I find that I mix it with the Anastasia, it, it works. So I just do that one, and then I go in with a little bit of my Madame Glam um, pressed powder and sable. This is my color, and I'm so nervous that I'm going to hit pan. I don't know, I even know if they make this anymore, but... I've had this blush for a while and just a little here and then we're gonna go back to the eyes some mascara this just makes you look so awake doing it this way so I have an LA color mascara that I'm gonna use and then I also have a um, it was a clear brow gel at one point but Clear brow gel. I got it off a of shop say again, a dollar. And we're just gonna go in. I'm not sure what brand it is. It's so, I don't know, any clear mascara. Just to hold the brow. Um, I was using hairspray for years and 
I just found a pretty good clear eyebrow gel that worked for me. So that's what I've been using for, for a little bit. I might go back to doing hairspray. Um, I just find that if I have to travel somewhere, this is a lot easier to bring with me. You know, obviously you don't have to lug around a whole can. And then mascara. And if at this point, if you're somebody that likes to highlight, you can highlight the tops of your cheeks. I don't really do highlight too often. I probably won't do any today either. I might do a wing because I think I want to put on some lashes because um, I'm going to be recording. And a lot of the times I notice when you don't have anything on your lashes but mascara when you're recording, your eyes kind of get drowned out. So I think I might do that, but pretty much you're done. If you want to wear um, a chapstick or a lipstick for your Zoom meetings or whatever you're doing, client meetings, um, you can. I have been liking this Pixie Beauty one. It's just a nude. And then I also wear this. I also like to use this one. This one's Cookie from um, ColourPop. So these two. With Cookie, I find that I do need a lip liner. But, you know, they're pretty similar, this color and Cookie. Yep, after these two, I gotta do my hair and then I'm done. I normally just shake my hair out, add a little water, and call it a day. So I'm gonna do my mascara and I'll show you what it looks like while all done. Yeah, so normally for work, this is where I stop. Eyebrows done, eyelashes. I just did my top lashes. Um, but since I'm going to be recording today, like I said, I think I'm just going to do a quick liner and then some um, lashes. But this is it. This is what you can do. This is super easy. I just did a lot of products that I really love and that I trust. Um, I don't even if Was this a lot of stuff? Hopefully it wasn't. Um, but yeah, this is something that I do so often, so quick, maybe 10, 15 minutes in the morning. Um, I especially have had to adapt a quicker um, regimen in the morning because Denver. I have to be super quiet and if you wake him, he's up and I can't get anything done. I'll get on my Zoom meetings with like my ponytail to the side. So I have really had to figure out what products work for me, what look really good. Um, really fast and I don't it's not a lot of fuss and muss and trying to figure things out I just know it works so I have my um, good foundation uh oh got a little blurry foundation concealer um, contouring or bronzer and um, mascara and you're pretty much done so I'm going to hop off a camera and like I said do the rest of the stuff hopefully all is well with you guys and I shall be seeing you soon um, we'll have to do a little sit down, chit chat, and catch everything up because it's been such a crazy year. But hopefully all is well with you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Please remember to be blessed, well dressed, and not stressed. And I'll see you there. Bye! Okay, so this is just what it looks like when I have lashes and liner on. It really does amp up the look, I think. Um... Yeah, I don't do lashes and liner every day. If I'm not doing um, false lashes, I really just double up, triple up on mascara. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. Lip is on. I found a darker pencil. I don't know what brand it is because all the labeling literally just came all the way off. So, but it's a brown. Um, not as dark as I, what did I do with it? Not as dark as I prefer, but... It's brown. But um, yeah, I just wanted to pop on here and show you what it looks like. And I probably will do my hair next. And um, yeah, just be about my business. Go about my day. But you know what? Real quick, before I let you go, let me just show you. This is probably one of the best um, spray bottles for Curly Girls because it's a continuous spray. Look at that. One spray. So, yeah, so 
that's what I'm gonna do. I'll take my um, thumbnail picture after I do my hair because this is not about the hair right now. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.